Welcome to Tech Brothers Damir. Today we are going to learn how to format text differently in the same text box in an SSRS report. So, so this can be called a rich text box where we can have bullet points where we can have one text as a different color, where maybe bold, another one as a italic, and all those kind of things. So these will be coming from different fields, and we can format them. So let's go ahead and create this report and then format them. You can read the these bullet points if you would like what we are going to do in this report. But we are going to create a report with the rich text box where we can format the different fields differently in that same text box or column. Now, let me show you the data I'm going to use. So this data will be available on the link in the description. So you, if you click there, this is going to take you to the www.techbrothersit.com and the very first link on the SSRS report is this data with the table. So you table definition, so you can copy and create this table. Now, what we have here, we have salesperson first name, last name and address and everything. I'm going to go ahead and use these fields such as city, state and country and region. And uh, let me put the region as well. So we have region. These uh, first name and last name I would like to have in different columns. Uh, but these all these uh, columns I would like to have in one column. And I would like uh, maybe a region as a bold uh, country is a little smaller and then a state and city in different uh, uh, fonts and uh, different uh, uh, sizes. So I will show you what I'm talking about. So let's take this query, go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and create our report. So I already have a SSRS project. I'm going to go to the report. So right click here, add new item. Now click on the report and let's call this one rich text box. This is a really cool uh, tip. Uh, and I like that very much because it, it very often we need to use these kind of tips and the tricks uh, to format our text. Uh, now click on the data sources, uh, add data source, uh, and uh, use the share data source. Uh, I'm going to call this one DS Sales. And we have a share data source that's called Sales. We are going to make use of that. Hit OK. Go to data set, uh, add data set. And now we call this one D set uh, Sales. This is going to be embedded in our report. Fine. We will use the DS sales data source here. And this is our query. Looks good. Hit OK. Next, in the design surface, I'm going to bring the table. In this table, I'm going to have a salesperson first name and salesperson last name. Next part, what, what, what I want to do, I want to have all these columns, city, state, country, and region right here in this uh, column. And uh, if I will drag them, let's say I bring the city here first, uh, then uh, if I want to bring the country here, it's not letting me do it. It is, if you see here, the green uh, pointer is moving uh, on the left or right. Uh, so if I will put it, this, this is creating a new column, uh, but my goal is, put everything in this column. So that's what I want to do. If I double click here, see now the pointer is right here. And if I go back and bring the state, so now I can do it. So if uh, that, that's one way to do it. Uh, now let's delete this one. We don't need uh, this uh, column. And if uh, we will take a preview, you can see that uh, the city and states are coming uh, together. That's great. So there is a way to put multiple columns. Uh, but to do that, what you have to do, you have to kind of double click uh, and get that. So if I double click here and then uh, let me write first. First of all, I would like to say address of a sale person is this is the text I'm writing here. Then I'm going to bring multiple fields. So uh, if you will, uh, let me take a enter here. And now, first of all, I would like to start with the city. So bring the city here. And then uh, let me also write actually city. Uh, if you like to say city is equal to whatever you want to write it, you can go ahead and write it. If you just uh, leave the city as well, just put the comma here, then have a state. So now you can bring the state here and then 
maybe comma here and then you have enter you can have a country and then comma here and finally you can have a region so that's how you can put uh, sorry uh, let us bring back double click now we are gonna have a region here so you see that uh, or you can write by yourself if you like uh, you don't want to bring the region here you just uh, double click here put the uh, square parentheses and say region and uh, close the square parentheses and this will if it is highlighted it means it took that value from there so that's cool now we are all good here if we go ahead and run a report what we see so this is how it will be looking like so add uh, sorry address of a new person is charlotte north carolina usa and north america so that's really good but we would like to format these different uh, fields and uh, make them much better now let me make this one a little bigger so we can see the columns at least and uh, make them bold and uh, give some color so it will at least look like a report and here i'm going to call this one sale person address and also here we let's change this one to the address now this part i would like to change so i'm gonna uh, go ahead and bold so i can bold this one and uh, I can, uh, if it is uh, 10 point or I want to make it italic, let's say. And in city, region, uh, I would like to make region really big and then others, uh, other columns small. So I can do that as well. So see, if I click region, I, I'm able to change the properties of this. Uh, so I can go ahead and do it. I can uh, underline, I can make it italic. And now if I would like to change it, maybe color. So see, it is... Uh, kind of different color now I can select the country and I for country maybe I would like to have green and uh, then uh, bold and uh, for region let's say we want to have uh, in 16 points and uh, city we can go ahead and bold and uh, maybe give different color let's go with this one aqua now this is good and bold italic so you see that each field in this column can be formatted differently. So that's great. Now let's preview it. And as you can see that uh, this complete address, this is using multiple fields, but we are kind of using the rich text box properties here or the way this, uh, this column uh, or cell can be formatted. So for each of the field, we can format as a differently. One more thing, uh, let's say, we add a new column on the right, insert a column on the right, and then uh, what we would like to do, I'm going to do one thing, I'm going to bring, uh, let's say you have region, so you bring the region, and then uh, you click uh, the bullets, uh, you have bullets here. Now, let me go back here, and uh, if you go at the end, uh, you can go ahead and bring the other fields. So you can use a different, uh, you can use numbers here if you like, uh, let's say you a person has, uh, uh, you have a uh, product one, product two, product three or multiple regions, uh, you have region one, region two, region three and all that, you can uh, put them in the line. So let's say you want a one, two, three, uh, you can um, um, align right or left. Uh, so you have different options uh, for this one. We don't want a bold, we don't want a italic, uh, uh, we want a different uh, uh, format. So that's fine. Now, if we can go ahead and preview. So I see the, the, these uh, different regions of uh, North America, USA, North America, USA. So uh, th this is a, uh, uh, we have a region and country. So that's uh, that's how it is coming up. So we have Asia, Pakistan and all that. So uh, you will be able to format each field uh, in this uh, cell or column differently. This is really great and uh, I hope you learn something out of it and make use of uh, this uh, uh, really nice uh, trick. And uh, thanks very much for watching this video and uh, if you like the videos go ahead and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.